Eli, you actually had two events, and I was wondering if you talk a bit about if you felt that your experience was different from the other guys, or if you just kind of felt that the other event was a part of your job when you went down there. Uh, I thought it was a little bit different, but not a lot, just because of the way I, uh, maybe not not a little bit more pressure, but I had to think a little bit about my races more. Warm up was a little bit different, just a little bit different planning, but overall it was uh, fun because I knew I was coming down with the rest of the team. So. And so when you guys go to state, you obviously have that name of Rochester kind of tagged to your back. Did you feel any pressure about that, of like doing your school proud? No, uh, the pressure is the sexuals, but you yeah. kind of lose the pressure once you make it to state. Because you kind of relieved, like you have the yeah. achievement yeah. already. Because state you is like made it. Yeah. So it's, it's hard to do much at state. It's almost like if we do awesome, then we're, you know, 26. If we do really bad, then we're 32nd. I mean, but either way, it's not like, I mean, there's no way we're going to achieve something that much greater. So it's, yeah, it's less pressure, I guess. Right, right. I get it. Do you guys think that your coach influenced your mindset going into state, or did you already have kind of a way to think about approaching it, or like an already set way to, to think about state? But she definitely influenced me. At sectionals, even at prelims, she talked to me and she's like, do you want this to be the last time you ever swim? I'm like, definitely not. And she's like, all right, then go this time. Like, push really hard, even when it hurts, just dig deep. I, I, don't, I don't know if she said any, anything to the other guys, but she did, she told me that at prelims. Definitely some words of wisdom and inspiration. Yeah. Just all season long, really, too. I mean, your coach really affects your mindset. For real. Just as a team kind of. Uh, environment. You guys agree? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was the biggest difference between the swimmer you were at the beginning of the season versus the swimmer you were at the end of state? You gain a lot of confidence. Because, like, so for sure. when you start, you're like, oh, this could be a good season, but we're going to have to work hard. And then once like, once we qualify for state, it's like, <coughs> wow, we're, we are really good and yeah. we, can, we, can do, we can do great things. Especially because there's never been another Rochester um, really? Really, a team to ever make yeah. it to state. And at the beginning of the season, I never, ever would have guessed that it would have happened. Yeah, me either, because I've never been on the 400 relay until this year. Mm, there you go. So I, yeah, I was always in the 200 medley and the 200 free. And right, so you're a senior too. So yeah. do, you, do you view this whole experience differently? or? Well, I guess. I mean, I never would have dreamed that I would have went to state in swimming. If, like, I always think I'm going to go to state in pole ball. Right. Now there's a little more pressure on making it to pole vault, <laughs> like for pole vault. But. Do you think you kind of had more confidence or like more want to make it to state because you were a senior because you knew it was your last go? Uh, yeah, honestly, like when she, when she, like you talked about like, in, <laughs> influence, like when she said that, like it, it really got me thinking, like I, I don't want this to be the last time I swim, you know, because like right. high school is the last time I'll swim. So. True, that's true. Uh, one of the last questions, guys. What was your favorite memory outside of the pool? Probably the whole state experience, just going down yeah. there with yeah. some of your best friends and Have relaxing. Stay in the eating hotel. Eating the Weber Grill. Eating the Weber Grill. <laughs> best free meal and ever. <laughs> we had a little party after sectionals at the pool. That, that was, was a lot of fun. fun. And then after that, we went to Jeff Rupert. All oh, right, cool. And that was a lot of fun, too. So you guys, do you think you've bonded now? Like there's kind of a gel between you guys that nobody yeah, else knows? Sure. Yeah. 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 That's what swimming does. <laughs> yeah? Like the practices are like, everyone hates them, but like the yeah. team bonding is just the best. Yeah. That, that's if it wasn't swimming. for the team, swimming would not be here. For nope. real. Nope. Yeah. Quick question, Mrs. Lee. All right, thank you very much, guys. Thanks. All right, so Sam, you're a senior, and I was wondering if you could kind of sum up the state experience for everybody. Well, I guess I'll start off with my junior year and going to see the guys at state. And um, I just remember looking down and being like, that'll never be me, but it would be like an awesome experience. And so then senior year rolls around and I have these uh, three great girls sitting next to me and somehow we make it. And it was kind of a mind blowing experience seeing all of these like huge girls compared to like a small me. And I'm like, but this is, this is crazy. I, I did it, and I never thought I would. So it was very intense, but one of the greatest experiences of my life. Fantastic. 
Um, so when you go to state, you guys kind of have Rochester tagged on your back wherever you go. So did you feel any pressure kind of representing the rock when you went down there? Not really. <laughs> um, I thought it was different seeing all these teams with like, you know, their whole team made it there. And we just kind of had to stick up for ourselves a little bit more and show a little bit more confidence since we were such a small group compared to all these big teams from different schools with thousands of people. Like I didn't feel any pressure when we were there. Like I felt like we were special because we come from such a small school and there's schools there like Carmel had almost all of their swimmers made it to state. All of their swimmers? Yeah, yeah all of their swimmers <laughs> made it to state and there's like 50 of them and you, like it's just kind of special like, going down there and there's only four and you're like okay well that's awesome. It was more like you before. felt good about yourself because there's all these big teams looking at us going who are these people? Right and you like made it yeah. there like that was yeah. the prize. So yeah. there wasn't really pressure because you've already made it all the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, guys, how much did your coach influence your mindset? Like going to state, did, did she have any words to tell you about how to think about it? Or did you kind of have like a preset way to approach it? Something like that? Um, I think she affected sectionals a lot more than she affected state. Her mindset towards state was more just like have fun. Just Enjoy the yeah, it was for everyone else like it was like their it was their first time being at state and so um, she had as much fun as we did <laughs> yeah like it was it was so much more fun being with a group and um, Stephanie our co like our coach just basically told us like have have fun don't stress out about this because you've already made it this far and there's you have nothing to lose like at sectionals we were in the running for first place and anything anything could have happened Right. That could have changed the race, but at state we had nothing. So, what do you think is the biggest difference between the swimmer you were at the beginning of the season and then the swimmer you were at the end of state? Our shoulders are a lot I think I, me and Abby can say this. Like as freshmen, I have changed as a swimmer and as a person so much between the season because in. Royals and in club, it's all about you as an individual. And as high, in high school season, it's about the team. It's about the team effort. It's about how everyone does in every one of their events. And that's it was just it was a great season. It was a lot of great yeah. people, and it was it was just really nice. In Royals, in Royals, you were expecting like you were trying to get a certain time or whatever. But in high school, you worry about how many points you get for your team, whether we win or lose. Sure. So, um, oh, uh, go ahead, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> like being a senior this year, I was going in trying to like, you know, be that leader for everyone and mm -hmm. by the end of the season, it was great being able to like know, okay, these girls are here, they depend on me, I depend on them. We've like grew as a family and I just really enjoyed the season. Being I, I thought it was crazy cuz like I went from three different stress fractures and not being able to complete a single sport season, and, like really down about myself and stuff. And then um, I started off the season really just kind of upset. I was swimming slow. I was working my best, but I still like was doing really bad. And then it was just great to turn around and like see all my hard work come through and just like finally have something. Right. You know, right. Of course. Last question, guys. What was your favorite memory outside of the pool? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, Probably Dave putting on Sam speed. <laughs> And it took us she about got a size a little too small. <laughs> it took 20 minutes for four girls to put one suit on one girl. It was like it, it was down, down, thing that's it up and I was holding on to her shoulders and pushing her like down, and Abby was pulling her up because when I would pull her <laughs> suit up, good. her feet would come off the ground. <laughs> So I can tell you guys have kind of gelled. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> much closer now. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, ladies. Yeah. <laughs>